I am sharing with you guys my top secret banana bread recipe. It's so banana-y, banana-ish. It's bananas. Big hit with my friends and family and it can be for you too. We're gonna start by peeling and mashing our bananas. So to some, these might actually look kind of disgusting, but for me, these are at the perfect stage to make yourself some really good banana bread. They're actually probably on the brink of going bad, but that's when you want them. There's so much natural sweetness in them and you really get that banana flavor and it makes your cake really moist. I'm using four bananas, which makes for a really moist bread. You can use two to three bananas if you don't like yours as dense. I'm using a mashed potato masher, but you can really use anything you want. You can use a fork, have your kids use a rolling pin. This is actually probably one of the very first tools that I use in the kitchen that I really considered like mine, even though it was my dad. I like mine really smooth because I don't wanna find any chunks of banana in my banana bread, more or less just like the aroma and the flavor of the banana. I'm literally giving you guys all my banana bread tips, tricks, and secrets. So let's do it. First secret, take one and a half cups of buttermilk and add your leavening agents. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda. Mix it all around till it's all dissolved. This process almost wakes up the leavening agents and you might actually see some frothing happening. To line the loaf pan, I do it a little differently because the sides of a loaf pan are normally angled. First, I cut out a rectangle and make sure the sides will be as high as the loaf pan. I flip the pan over and make sure the paper is centered to the pan. Then I cut diagonal slits right into the corners of the pan. It doesn't have to be perfect. Slot your paper in and trim off any of the flyaways. You don't want anything sticking out that will obstruct the rising of your batter. We're going to start with two room temperature eggs. I like to separate them into a small bowl first to make sure that there's no yolks before I transfer the whites into a metal bowl. We're gonna whisk our egg whites to a stiff peak. I put a towel underneath the bowl to help you get a good easy angle to whisk. You want a stiff peak, which means that when you hold your whisk up, the eggs don't move anymore. Another trick you can do is hold your bowl upside down. Ooh. Now for our wet ingredients. Along with the two eggs, we combined one and a half cups of sugar, half a cup of oil, all our mashed bananas, and our buttermilk mixture. Time to sift our dry ingredients right into the bowl. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. Mix it all up. Take one third of your whipped egg whites and fold them in. Folding is a motion of scraping the sides and the bottom of the bowl and rotating it to the top. Be gentle here, you wanna keep the egg whites airy. Keep adding all your egg whites until they've been all folded in. Time to separate the batter into your two pans. You can weigh out your batter here, but we're just going to eyeball it. We're also going to layer in some chocolate chips. A baking trick to help your bread rise evenly is to use a wet tea towel. 
wrap it around the outside of the pan and this will prevent the outside from over baking while the inside is still raw. We have a sheet pan set on a rack directly above our loaf pans. You can use tin foil here too. Think of giving your loaves a little bit of shade. They're going to bake at 350 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. When there's 20 minutes remaining, we remove the pan and let them get nice and golden on top. You know your banana bread is ready when you can put a toothpick in and it comes out nice and clean. Make sure you let your loaves rest and cool for at least 30 minutes. Time to cut into our still warm banana bread. Thanks to our trusty parchment paper, it's gonna come out really easily. And I'm just gonna peel off the paper right now as well. Transfer it onto our board. And let's have a slice. I definitely decided to cut into the chocolate chip one. Ooh, super moist. Lots of ripe bananas in here, so you know it's gonna be full of banana flavor. Mmm. A little bit of crunch on the crust. Super tender inside. Really nice banana flavor. You can see the little specks of banana. And I love your little chocolate chip too. This is some bomb banana bread. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat cake. I am the Bake Boss.